verify roots theorem for the function fx equal to e to the power x sin x minus cos x on the interval pi by 4 comma 5 pi by 4. So, we are given f fx equal to e to the power x sin x minus cos x on pi by 4 comma 5 pi by 4. First step exponential function are continuous, sine function, cosine function are also continuous. So, sum of sine and cosine is continuous, product of continuous function is continuous. Since it is continuous throughout R, first point is continuous, fx is continuous on pi by 4 comma 5 pi by 4. Second point, you can compute the derivative, you can differentiate it, differentiate those functions as well. So, f dash x exists, in fact, you can find the value also on pi by 4 comma 5 pi by 4. Let us compute value of f at the end point, that means we want to find f of pi by 4 equal to e to the power pi by 4 sin pi by 4 minus cos pi by 4. We know that sin 45 degree is 1 by root 2. So, e to the power pi by 4 1 by root 2 cos 45 degree is also 1 by root 2. So, that is equal to 0. What about f 5 pi by 4? Equal to e to the power 5 pi by 4 sin 5 pi by 4 minus cos 5 pi by 4 equal to e to the power 5 pi by 4. Now, sin 180 plus theta that is in the third quadrant that is negative. So, minus 1 by root 2 cos 180 plus theta is minus cos theta. So, that is again cos 45 degree. So, you compute it you will get it 0 once again. So, in order to verify Rho's theorem, value of function at the end point must be equal and we got it f pi by 4 equal to f 5 pi by 4 equal to 0, value of function at the end point are equal. <coughs> but is that enough? Yes. Now, we, we observe that function is continuous on the closed interval, differentiable on the open interval and then value of function at the end point are same. So, by Rolle's theorem, now by Rolle's theorem, a constant, so by Rolle's theorem, there exists a constant C such that f days of c equal to 0. <coughs> we have f x equal to e to the power x sin x minus cos x. Therefore, f days x we apply the product rule e to the power x the first function as it is into derivative of second function derivative of sin is cos x cos derivative cos is minus sin so it will be plus sin x. So, 
first into derivative of second that we have done plus second into derivative of first. Derivative e to the power x is e to the power x. Now we can take e to the power x common, cos will get cancelled to sin x. We want to compute a constant c such that f dash c equal to 0. Now f dash c equal to 0 if e to the power c into 2 times sin c equal to 0. But e to the power c can never be equal to 0. So, we have choice sin of c equal to 0. Well, we have got infinitely many different constant c so that sin of c equal to 0. We could take c equal to 0, we could take c equal to pi, you should get c equal to minus pi, we could take c equal to 2 pi and so on. So, what, what do you think the best value should be? As we, we want a constant c such that c belongs to the interval pi by 4 comma 5 pi by 4. Well, we are lucky enough to have, in fact, Rolle's theorem guarantees us such a constant. So, such constant should exist and pi belongs to pi by 4 comma 5 pi by 4 that is pi is greater than pi by 4 less than 5 pi by 4 and we have computed such a constant.